Greetings, everybody. I am Lobo, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Today, we are making our way away from the Citadel and headed to Masana. Because Asari High Command has requested help dealing with a distress signal on an Asari colony. We need to go to the colony and investigate the situation. I'm sure it's fine. Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. So the Asari throw us at the problem? What's the plan? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. Wow, welcome back, Williams. Been a while, huh? I know we had a rough start, you know, we've had a rough relationship, a rough working relationship, but I'm hoping we can move past that. I mean, it has been contentious at times. You argue with me a lot, you pulled a gun on me not too long ago, but, you know, I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. I'm just gonna ask you to stop acting without full knowledge of the situation you're currently in or the situation any of us are currently in, you know? We trust each other here. We can fill in the blanks for our other team members who don't know what's going on. And you constantly seem to be in the dark, so just trust me and Doc. We'll be your guiding light. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Oh, why not both? A little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know? I don't like that. Sounds close. A little too close. I was gonna say that. I was gonna say exactly that. We're on the same page, Williams. I like it. Tell you what I don't like. Any of this. There's not much to like about this. What was that? Stay sharp. <sighs> Stay super sharp. Super duper sharp. I heard something. Oh, that was me. Sorry. Don't do that. Told you stop coming on these missions with a rumbly tummy. You eat before we leave. I need to know if the growling I'm hearing is your stomach. Or if it's monsters. Delay. You won't believe what Yan has managed to smuggle in. A copy of Vanya. Meet us after supper in the library. Bring some study work. Real is floor warden tonight, so act natural. We'll be by the East Video Banks. This is gonna be so great. See you there. Oh. And delete this once you listen to it. Not like last time. That was the thing Morinth liked. Apparently it's a favorite among the Ardak Yakshi. Too artsy fartsy for my taste, though. This was the commando's captain. It seems they gave their lives fighting the Reapers. This monastery's out of the way. 
What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? Anything useful? A map, showing the nav point location of a bomb. Some room called the Great Hall. So the Commandos started the purge after all. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Actually, y'all hang on a sec over here. If anything comes through that door, you shoot it. You shoot it dead. I didn't finish scavenging. To our staff and students, attached is our new daily schedule. Please note that wake up time has been moved forward 15 minutes. Floor wardens can download chore lists later this week. Please see Matriarch Galay or myself if you have any questions or concerns. Sincerely, Superintendent Jethra. Wake up is 5.30 to 5.45 a.m. Breakfast, 5.45 to 6.15 a.m. Morning meditation, 6.15 to 8 a.m. Study period, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Chores, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Midday meal, 12 p.m. to 12.45 p.m. Classes, 12.45 to 5 p.m. Study period, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Supper, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Evening meditation, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Free period, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Curfew is at 10 p.m. You know, one of the amazing things about this future is that we've managed to synchronize our clocks across the freaking galaxy. Like, even planets that may not be you know, on a 24-hour on a rotation, 24-hour day and night cycles. They do manage to work on a 24-hour clock, and I like that. Keep saying simple. I also like the fact that we've adopted English as standard galactic speak. Hey, where are y'all at? I am feeling mighty lonely in here. Holy crap, you're magicians. You save some of that hocus pocus when we find these monsters. Might need it. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara. It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here, and I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. Hey, Samara, you be safe down there. You watch your back. A lot of former crewmates of mine have been dying lately, just so you know. Krios and Solus are dead. My name is Tashia Pori. I'm wounded. Bad. Give this to my bondmate, Weshra. Asked her to go to the Citadel and tell Weshra I love her. Tell her. Sorry we fought. I was an idiot. Didn't mean any of it, Weshra. What? I want you to have everything of mine, okay? Love you. I love you so. <gasps> yeah, I'll, I'll pass that along for you. 
I do hate being the bearer of bad news, though. Not sure how I feel about doing the Asari's dirty work. We need them on our side. Well, Asari Command owes us big time for this. Agreed. Hey, this looks like a fighting area. So y'all be ready. I hope you grabbed a snack from the vending machine, Williams. I get jumpy when I hear growling. On it. Alright. Y'all hang out. I'm gonna go look for some stuff and probably aggravate some folks. Actually, one of y'all get over here. Understood. And I'm gonna cut up the side. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go straight in for it. Here we go. Oh, they ain't that bad. Right away. They look tired. Maybe they're hungry. Maybe nobody's getting their snacks. That used to be a person. An Asari. What have the Reapers done? They've done what they've always done. They find organics, they harvest them. Make them ugly. Make them cranky. Take away snack time. Oh, are y'all waiting for me? Sorry. Mother, you came. As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Falaire, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are our Dadyakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila! What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound like the Commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire? I'm sorry. Falaire! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. Hey, y'all y'all are aware I can't do that, right? We'll meet you there. Please be swift. Yeah, be swift or you sprinkle some of that pixie dust on me. Let me fly on down there. But now, yeah, the human just walk. The human can walk. He's fine. He's got feet. Y'all got feet too, dang it. You're just showing off. You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. I'm sure it was, Doc. Could be beautiful still. We weren't gonna bomb it. No sense in doing that. We just destroy the Reapers. Eradicate the Reaper presence. I mean, that is what we do. Jethro, this is Galay. I've blocked extranet access. We don't need the students panicking about these Reaper rumors. Still, it will not hurt to tally our supplies. Please bring me an inventory before evening prayer. I'll contact Thessia later tonight to inquire what set the Asari to war. Go in peace. Yeah, that's a bad move. 
You don't cut off information to your people. All that does is leave them dumb and unprepared. Got it. As you wish. Got it. Be ready. On it. Come on, Reapers. Y'all can do better than that. What in the world? All right, I don't want to know. I don't care. I got bigger concerns at the moment. Stuff. Jethra. I had the new girl put in a holding chamber. The Justicar who brought her to us, Justicar Fora, said she had trouble convincing the prisoner coming to the monastery was necessary. This may explain why the girl lashed out at her guards. She's lucky Fora wasn't here for that. The Justicar's code would have demanded an execution. I'll question some other Justicars on the level of coercion Fora is permitted to use by the code. This isn't the first time her captures arrived here terrified out of their wits, but it will certainly be the last. Matriarch Galay. Jethra, I looked over this year's candidates for supervised visits to Thessia. I'm approving everyone but Giannis. She's impulsive, cunning, and worst of all, a romantic. Find me a worse combination to let outside our walls. I find it suspicious she was even nominated. Let's look into that. And pray it's not Giannis manipulating another infatuation. It takes a great deal of time and effort to persuade Thessia's government to let our best students visit their own homeworld. Unless Giannis matures, she won't be among them. Matriarch Galay. Hmm. All right. I think this takes care of the upstairs here, so let's go ahead and make our way down into this area, which looks well suited for combat. Hi. Oops. Hey, I'm new to being a biotic, all right? So we'll just pretend that little biotic thingy went where I wanted it to go. I mean, it actually did. You know, it was a distraction more than anything. All according to plan. You see that? 100% according to plan. Knock, knock. No one home? Are we sure about that? Another commando got overrun? This place must have been chaos. Or they panicked. Asari commandos have decades of experience. They don't panic. Doesn't matter how long you've been fighting. You never know what'll break your unit. I gotta agree with Williams on this one, Doc. There's always something that'll make somebody panic. There's always something that somebody's not prepared for. Maybe it's not straight up panic. There's stuff that'll make people shut down. That'll make people lose their will to fight. You know? Hey, it's an elevator! I know I was talking about panic and people losing their will to fight. That doesn't apply to us, alright? We're good to go. We know what we're doing. We can handle this. We've had our snacks. Hey, Samara! What you doing? You just hanging out? Why are you just hanging out, Samara? Shouldn't you be doing something to resolve this? There's the bomb. And Falaire. Reload. Reload, wake up. Falaire, 
Rila cannot hear us. Look, she's still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. What's going on with Rila? Somebody want to fill me in? No? That's fine, I'll figure it out myself. Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Later. I got something too. That's the last one. For now, let's get back to that bomb. Why are you still screeching, huh? Why are they still screeching? Falaire, go. Take the elevator. Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go. Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila! Rila, there wasn't even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Falaire? The code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Falaire. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so... 
Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Falaire, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Ardat Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the Monastery, who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Cool beans. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know, you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith, that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Hey, sir! Sir! Before you go, sir, oh, let's go to ask him about his apartment. You know why I was never invited over. I'm not saying it hurt my feelings or anything. I'm just wondering why. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Thank you. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. I learned that the hard way. Oh, why do you keep doing that with your neck? And are you suggesting this is attractive? Look, I can't even do it. Impossible. Commander. Yeah, okay, wh whatever. Moving on. Memorial from Ashley Williams. Shepard, my sister got everything set up at the Citadel Memorial. She showed me what she's going to put up on the wall. It's nice. I wish I could do something to make this easier for her. She wants me to say something about our family. I know you're busy, but it would mean a lot if you could be there. Ashley. Yeah, of course. 
I got you, Williams. Found something from Miranda Lawson. Shepard, I discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad, but there's something else going on. I'm back on the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet and send you a nav point when you get here. Miranda. Wow. Everybody wants me to go back to the Citadel. I just left the Citadel. Everybody wants me to head on back. Well, you know what? We ain't heading on back yet. Because I got me a galaxy to save. Take a break from Garrus Vicarian. Shepard, I thought next time we're at the Citadel, maybe we could take a break. Can't fight a war without a little R&R once in a while. I'll be hanging around C-Sec near the shuttles if you're interested. Garrus. You need a break? When was the last time you were even on a mission, Garrus? You've been sitting up here max and relaxing all cool? No. Headed for the front lines from Samara, Shepard. I finished my business on Lasus. I would offer to travel once again with you on the Normandy, but the code dictates I join the fight where it's most dire. While you do your essential work, I will do my best to help hold the front. Before I depart, I'll return to the Citadel for a short time to prepare. If it does not interfere with your duties, come find me there. Samara. Asari Squad Ready from Corrine LeMays. Shepard. As of an hour ago, Asari High Command has assigned my squad to support you. We will ride with the second fleet until it's time to deploy. If you allow me a personal note, I knew a few of the commandos who went down to that monastery. Nothing will bring them back. But hearing that that place went up in smoke is the only good news I've heard in weeks. Ready to serve, Captain Corrine LeMays. You sure you don't want to, you know, head down to the Citadel for resupply before we get into this? No? Excellent. Getting away from work, from Liara to Sony. Shepard, I need an excuse to tear myself away from all of these monitors. Come see me the next time we dock on the Citadel. Liara. Really? A2 dock. Visiting the Citadel, of course, from Javik. Commander, I find this messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. I assume Specialist Trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel the next time we travel there. In my lifetime, it had been captured by the Reapers. If you would like to join me, I will be in the area where the embassies are located. I believe this concept of galactic control shared among races is a lie. Javik, I could have sworn that we just went to the Citadel. Maybe, maybe it was all in my imagination. Maybe I'm delusional right now. Maybe that hum Vega was talking about has done something to my freaking brain. Cerberus is gonna have a hard time recruiting now. You'd think. Glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court-martial us after we save the galaxy. What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the comm buoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. Garrus mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble. I never agreed to that. Hey, Commander. I dug out some letters my youngest sister wrote when she was in high school. She was... having a hard time. Teen drama and all that. Just needed her big sis. I guess with everything that happened down there, I just wanted to read them again. Nothing wrong with that. You sure make some unusual friends, Shepard. There's you. That is not a side of these sorry I ever want to see. Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. Wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. 
Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Jah. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditaka preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Apparently. Commander. Hey, don't let this old geezer get to you. He's just cranky and missed breakfast. Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm... Oh, I'm sorry, Garrus. I thought you were done talking. You put a break in your sentence. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. You done? Was that a complete thought? Okay. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. So who needs their ass kicked now? Oh, I'd say this guy right here. It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I, I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two, the one you converted and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the Loas Relay. Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. Have you seen the new poker table up in the lounge? It's going to waste. Well, I was thinking of inviting to Sony a trainer up for a wee game of strip poker. Right. You're not going to invite Commander Williams, too? She seems like a sore loser, and I'm rather attached to my tender bits. You ever been biotically castrated? Because Doc can do that. My board is green. Shepard. Nothing to report, Commander. I swear, I should've just let that idiot rot in jail. So, are you doing a story on the Asari who were turned into Reaper creatures? The Ardat Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. I've always loved the M35 Mako. It's got heart, you know? Ah, oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> 
What? What's so funny? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of confused about that one, too. The next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. You don't need to worry about me. You all know the kind of crap I get up to. I appreciate you checking in on me. Yeah, no problem. By the way, I do side with Vega on this Mako Hammerhead debate. Hey. Hey! Alright, my most trusted advisors. What are we thinking? How are we feeling about inviting this reporter up here? Ah, good point. Ah, I don't know about that. Can you back it up? Nah, squeak wins. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thesia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. Excuse me? I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. Uh-huh. People come up in here invading my personal space. Anyway, that is going to do it for us today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean a whole lot to me. And if you want to see more of Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, please remember to subscribe. But as always, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I am Lobo, and I will see you guys later.